Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at motion tweening in Flash CS4 and it's very important that you understand that this is Flash CS4 because prior to Flash CS4 and CS3 and before we had two flavors of tweening. We had both shape tweening and motion tweening. However, now in Flash CS4, we have three flavors of tweening. We have shape tweening, we have motion tweening, and we also have this new tween, or what you may think is a new tween called the classic tween. Well, if you are new to Flash, or if you've been using Flash for a while, I should say, but you're new to CS4, if you just want to motion tween something like you always have, you want to use the classic motion tween. It's a simple tween from this point to that point. All right, the shape tweening is the same. However, the new thing is the motion tweening. And the motion tweening is like this big new motion tweening engine. It's really cool and it's very, very powerful. It allows you to easily update your animations on the fly. If you've animated using Photoshop's timeline animation, this is kind of how that works. Uh, and I believe some tell me that this is also how animating in After Effects works. Not 100% sure on that. I don't really use After Effects at all. Uh, so correct me if I am wrong. However, this is a very, very easy way to animate, and actually, it's the way you need to animate if you want to animate 3D objects here in Flash. So, let's take a look at motion tweening in Flash CS4. Alright, so I, basically all I have here is just a blank document, obviously, 720 by 400, 30 frames per second, uh, single layer. I'm actually going to change the color of the stage to sort of a medium slash dark-ish gray. And what I need to do now is import an image. I'm going to do this by just hopping over to the bridge. I'm going to grab this image, image.jpg. It's just an image I shot out of an airplane a couple years ago. And I'm going to drag it right over and drop it in Flash. Give Flash a second. It usually takes a moment when you drag and drop stuff in to uh, actually make the image show up. Uh, there we go. So it has showed up. Now, the first thing you need to do, as you know, you always have had to do, is create or convert that object to a symbol. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a symbol by going modify, convert to symbol. I'm going to convert it to a movie clip symbol. I'm going to set the registration point to the center, and I'm going to name it MCIMG, just Movie Clip Image. Hit OK. So creating one of these motion tweens is not like creating a motion tween of old or a, a classic tween of new. Uh, you know, new, classic, I don't know. It kind of sounds like an oxymoron to me. But uh, creating this motion tween is a bit different. Let's say I want this guy to slide onto stage from way over here on the right. Well, what I'm going to do first is drag him off stage. Hold down shift, just drag him straight over like so. Now I'm going to come over here and uh, I want this animation to last 40 seconds. So I'm going to select the 41st frame and I'm going to right click. Well, I'm not going to right click I uh, because you can't see. I'm going to pull this up a bit. Now I'm going to right click and say insert blank keyframe. Or actually, let's just say convert to keyframe so the image kind of stays there. Okay, so we've got this keyframe over here at 41. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click in between these two keyframes pull this up to make sure you can see it. I'm going to hit create motion tween. You should now see this sort of light blue. Notice the light blue does not actually cover that last keyframe. That last keyframe we placed acts as a stopper. That's where the motion tween is going to go to and stop. That is not what is being tweened. You have to set that up over here and when I drag this image, Flash is going to auto keyframe this for me. So it's really, really cool. Watch this. I'm going to drag this image over here and drop it there. You can see Flash, well, you can see a diamond appear right there. That's like the auto keyframe symbol icon there in your timeline. So that is exactly what our tween is going to be. I'm going to hit Control Enter. That'd be Command Return on the Mac. Let's test the movie. And look at that. We have just created a very, very simple motion tween. All right, and it's as easy as that. Now, if you want to select this motion tween, you can then open up the motion editor which is window somewhere up here, motion editor. I actually have it open already right here. And you can see you have all of these advanced, or I shouldn't really say advanced, more advanced, more information available to you about your tween. You can you know, throw an ease in there, the X position, the Y position, the Z position. Obviously, we don't have that with a 2D flat object. You can apply transformations, and there's all kinds of color effects and filters, all kinds of stuff like that that I'm not going to get into. All we're going to look at here is just the basic tween. That's it. Just going from one point here to the next. That is the motion tween in Flash CS4 at in its most basic form. Now that you know how to do that, you're ready to go ahead and start playing with the motion editor and really, you know, finding all the power that 
Flash and this new motion tween has to offer. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching it. And uh, hope you go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Thanks for watching.